Hey guys, Richard Miller here with another two minute type tip. Today I'm gonna to be going over ligatures. In some fonts, when you have two characters next to each other, depending on what the shape of the character is, for instance, the F and the I here, sometimes part of the letter crashes into another part of the letter and uh, it creates this weird, awkward shape. And uh, basically a ligature is a completely separate glyph that's designed on purpose to uh, correct these mistakes. And uh, basically, if you wanna change ligatures on or off, you go to the open type panel and there's this little FI icon and you click it and you can turn it on and off. So this is a font I designed called Gilman. And you can see with ligatures turned off, it does create this weird, awkward shape where the F and the I crash into each other. But when you turn ligatures on, it goes away. I've also played around with some other fonts I've created. This font is called uh, Uniform Rounded Condensed. And basically, I created this ligature so that when you have a normal T, there's a spur on the left side. But when it gets next to a character such as an F, basically the spur disappears. And I did that because if you turn the ligatures off, you can see that right next to the F and the T, there's this huge negative space that's created, this big white space here. So basically I did the ligature to reduce that white space and uh, help the words flow better in body copy. And you know, it's it's a, something that you're not gonna notice that this T doesn't have a spur on the side. That's how the Walmart logo is. That's actually where I got the inspiration for this idea. And the Walmart logo, maybe you never noticed this before, but there's no spur on the left side of the T. So that's something interesting there. Here's a font that I recently designed. This is Uniform Pro. And I actually coded in some ligatures here. Now this is not a Wingdings font at all. This is the true font. If I wanna type something, this is the real font, and these uh, these Wingding characters are actually just ligatures. And you can see if I turn ligatures off, you can see that this arrow is created by a hyphen and a greater than symbol. And this is just programmed in there. So for instance, let's say I do a left parentheses, create an arrow and a right parentheses. Now I've got this arrow that's outlined. If I put another parentheses on either side, now I've got this arrow. So that's just a cool feature that I just programmed right into Uniform Pro. Hopefully this video was a help to you. Uh, definitely subscribe to this channel if you like videos like this that uh, can help you improve your typography and your graphic design skills. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.